Before I started feeling my symptoms, I wanted to perform on stage. I wanted to sing and act and dance. I started experiencing a lot of physical pain that was new and increasing by the day. Um, couldn't climb the subway stairs to get to my jobs. I knew that something wasn't right. We got the call from the nurse about two weeks later, confirming that I did in fact have Lyme disease. Um, very quickly, these dreams were slipping away. When my son was about eight months old, um, we first started to notice uh, he was starting to exhibit some kind of some odd behaviors. Um, and then he started throwing these tantrums, these extreme violent tantrums that would last sometimes an hour, sometimes two. Um, we were starting to have to restrain him, um, lock him in his room just to keep him safe and the rest of us safe. And then um, it really in the last year and a half, is when we started noticing the other three children showing signs of sickness themselves, but in different ways, physical illness, short-term memory issues. Uh, and this is really the journey that led us to realizing that the illness that I had had most of my life that I didn't know I was carrying was Lyme disease, and that I had passed it on to each one of my kids. So this might sound cliche, but I am learning to trust God. This whole diagnosis, the, the chronic pain, the fatigue, the weakness has taught me that God's grace is indeed sufficient for me because His power is made perfect in my weakness. He is our Savior who knows pain more than we even do. He, he died the most painful death we could have ever experienced so that this pain you're experiencing right now wouldn't be the end. He came to redeem this pain. He came to give it hope, to give life back to what's been lost. We wrote this book for you, for the person who's hurting. Maybe it's the diagnosis or the accident. It just hits. And we wrote this for you in the midst of the pain because God's word has been a balm to our souls in the pain. We want you to know that same comfort. We want you to be in the word, rooted there, drawing life and hope from the only giver of hope. So we don't have to come with ourselves all neat and tidy, pulled together. We come with the hope that he will help us trust him, even with the pain and even with the struggles and the questions and the things we can't make sense of. This has been 10 years of constant struggle and it's felt like being in the trenches for 10 years. and. I found a lot of sweet treasure in the trenches, and I'm thankful for that. This place that you're in, is, it's, it's good, and you can bring it to Him and, and say to Him, I don't have what I need right now to keep going, uh, but you do. Um, come to Him. He has what you need.